right, moving onward toward Athens. Stopping. Some other place. I can't tell if it's an island or a peninsula. I think it's an island. Jesus, people drive crazy on this road. I have not seen this type of driving. These guys are Greeking all over the place. This is this is new to me. People like I'm I'm driving on the shoulder right now, along with the guy behind me and the guy in front of me, so that people can turn this one lane highway into two lanes. Sometimes people claim that good things need a counterpart in order to exist. How would you know good if there was no evil? How would you know peace if there was no unrest? Peace, joy, love do not need a counterpart to exist any more than reality needs a counterpart to exist. It seems to me like there's a lot of people out there who are making excuses for themselves for why they choose darkness or why they choose some manner of evil, claiming that they're the balance of the universe, that you've got to have bad to have good. Well, that kind of high-minded intellectual theory will quickly give way to a sobering reality when they are corrected. Not because they made a mistake in their logic, but because it was in them to do evil and they looked for a reason to justify it. They had already chosen that path. It was just a matter of finding a decent enough excuse to allow them to pursue it. Traveling. It's not that I want to, it's just that there's nothing else to do and the funny thing is that it's kind of kind of the result of growth because I don't need to make a difference anymore I don't need to be important and I think if everybody else is honest with themselves about why they're still here they would have to admit that their reasons for living are insanity it's brokenness it's arrogance it's ignorance it's fear that keeps us alive, that keeps us from walking off a cliff or jumping into the ocean. And I'm in that dark space in the middle. I'm in that power outage when the grid goes down and all the lights go out, but your generator hasn't kicked on yet. That moment of blackness between having an external source of energy and an internal source of energy. And so I've got neither right now. And it's been a while. And I don't know if a motivation is gonna come back to me for living. I travel because I don't know what the fuck to do with my life. And I have a little bit of money to spend. And everything else feels like dying. And this feels like a living kind of pain, a living kind of suffering. That's the best I've got right now. I just get to choose between two types of pain. One that feels like a funeral and one that feels like birthing. So here's your travel video. Greek islands. I still believe in some things. I believe in a lot of the country music type stuff. Old pickup trucks, I believe in dogs, I believe in family faded blue jeans and uh, people who work for a living. I believe in people who haven't bought into the Hollywood bullshit. I believe in people who aren't adopting third world children and then changing their genders. I believe in people that stick together. There's something there's something a little more stable than what the rest of the world has got going on. We are losing our minds. Partially.
some of these changes are good. I don't know what the name of this island is called. It's Greek. It's all Greek to me. Right now I just want to find a good place to sleep. I just I just want to sleep like the dead. Right now I just want to not have to live up to everything I've ever written. And everything I've ever believed. And everything I've ever put on other people. Right now I just want to not have to live up to my judgments. I want the Supreme Court of my past to go away. I want to burn all my thoughts. I want amnesia. I want to wake up in a hospital bed tomorrow and have no idea who I am and just start over. I want to forget everything and see what comes of me when the programming is all gone.